Hi all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's have a look at uh, one more query that I was asked in one of the forums. So before I go ahead, uh, please do subscribe to my channel, share my videos with your friends and other students as well so that they also get benefited out of it. So let's have a look at the question. So uh, situation is for June 1 settlement and investor, investor finances the entire purchase of bond with a price of dollar 115 at semi-annually compounded borrowing rate of 0.6 percent so uh there is an outflow of dollar 115 on june 1st which was financed at dollar uh, 116 so let me highlight it the key observations in the red color so that uh, so let me there is outflow of 115, which was financed at a 0.6 dollar. Six months later, there was a coupon payment, and uh, there was a, I mean, which which had pulled it to the par. So if investor were to exclude it out, then this was a value which he would have got. So let's solve a very straightforward question. You just uh, have to plot a timeline. So here we go. So say for example, this is June 1st, wherein there was a dollar 115 outflow. And uh, this is say for example, November, wherein uh, basically there are uh, three payments if you think in now uh, very uh, closely. So uh, say for example, 0.6% it's semi-annually, so it is annual rate. Then for for uh, semi-annually, it would be, of course, it would be slightly lower than 0.6. Uh, I mean, uh, it's slightly lower than uh, 0.6 if I compounded it semi-annually. Then, but just for a sake of understanding, say, for example, the uh, semi-annual rate would be 0.3%. So one of the outflow that we you have is negative point. 3% of the amount that you borrowed for initial investment. Then you have a dollar payment. So this is a outflow in, uh, in, in the November. So another six payment was dollar 1.5625. So the, it was a receivable. So 156.25 dollars over it auto dollar. And there is a par value of 119 also. So this was your initial investment. And this is your final investment. So if I had to calculate the returns, I would just calculate whatever is my final amount. Let me, uh, so this is 114, just. So 114 plus 1.56 that is your coupon and uh, less the interest that you are paying on your initial investment that you borrowed to purchase a bond at dollar 115 so this is your final payment in november initial investment was dollar 115 and you are divided by your initial amount. So let's have a look at the calculations quickly. So first, let me calculate 0.3%, 0.3% because it's for six months. So let me divide it by 100 and into your 115. So this is your interest outflow. So just remember for a minute, 0.345. So I'll just uh, add uh, my fine. I'll get my final uh, payment that I would get. So these are the par amount and the interest amount less the interest that you will pay on your initial investment. So this is my final amount that I will have. So my complete returns would be equal to 115 point. 2175 minus 115 divided by 115. Let's calculate this. So 
So minus 115 divided by 115. So which comes around 0 0.00189. If I round it off, it's 0 0.0019. That's your option C. Let me point it in. So your option C is a correct option. Hope you like the video. If yes, please do share with your peers so that they can also post maximum number of queries and uh, I can come up with a good solution. Thank you. Stay connected.